Oi, bom dia. My name is Maria Luisa and I'll be talking to you guys about my service quilt box. First, I want to start off with a good service philosophy. A good service philosophy starts with knowing yourself and knowing your strengths. Once you know who you are, you're able to grow. Also to follow the rule of thumb, which states, don't be ruled by money, don't get burned out, be organized, embrace teamwork, and most importantly, have a positive attitude. Now I'll be talking to you guys about the box. Inside the box, there's actually things that have meaning to it. First thing I want to talk to you about is this plate. This plate was hand painted by me in Venezuela. This represents that you need to know who you are in order to know your strengths and your weaknesses. Once you know who you are, you will be able to excel in the service industry. And this was actually painted by me, so it's one of my strengths. You need to know who you are. In order to know who you are, it will help you not go up the ladder and get burned out. This is a candle, which represents going up the ladder. You never want to get burned out. It's something that it's happens a lot in the service industry. We don't want that to happen. So knowing yourself will help you not get burned out. Also, another thing that helps you not get burned out is actually Bossa Nova, which is the music that you hear in the background. Bossa Nova is samba and jazz put together. And it's something that I hear when I go up the ladder and I'm overly stressed and something that helps me out. Another thing to have that's good for your service philosophy is having a hobby. That's something that can make you embrace yourself and not be so overworked. Something that is a hobby of mine is actually going to the movies and watching Disney movies. This is Hercules. It's one of my favorite movies and this helps me go down the ladder because it's a hobby of mine and helps me be relaxed after being overworked from work. Another service philosophy is having the words of wisdom. Knowing when to follow words of wisdom and knowing when not to follow words of wisdom. This could be a tricky service philosophy, but accepting service um, advice when people have a lot of experience is actually a good thing. But try to know when not to accept advice. Inside this silver fortune cookie, I have two service philosophies. The first one says, great things are accomplished only by the perfection of minor details. The second one says, business is a lot like playing tennis. If you don't serve well, you lose. Which we know is very true in the service philosophy. Another service tip of mine is to be organized. Posters are a great thing invented. It can also give a lot of ADD, but mostly it's used to be organized. If you are organized, you will be able to succeed in the service industry. Organization is key to distressing yourself and being to have a multitask life. So, being organized. One of the rule of thumbs that I mentioned was actually don't be ruled by money. This is something that everyone thinks about, everyone tries to achieve this, everyone thinks about money, that's all they want. But money is just a piece of paper, it's not who you are. You need to know who you are in order to succeed in the service industry and not be ruled by this piece of paper that is not even that good looking. So, no. Another item in my box is actually this bracelet. We know that bracelets are made by beads and this, these beads are actually organized in a specific order to make this bracelet. This represents teamwork. In the service industry, there's nothing more important than teamwork. Working with others takes a great deal of practice and it's something that can lead to a lot of success, success or failures. But teamwork is something that requires patience and it's a good service quality because with teamwork, you're able to accomplish anything. My last service tip is actually the key to success. The final tip from me to you, this is what would help you succeed in anything that you do is my number one tip in my life and it's something that I strive by and I bow to this tip. The last service tip is to be positive. No matter what you do, no matter where you are, no matter how you feel, is to be positive. Once you are positive, you're able to be yourself and not get burnt out and be organized and not be ruled by money. So this is a key to the success in the service industry. It's having a positive attitude and knowing who you are. I hope you enjoyed my service box quilt. And I hope you enjoyed my bossa nova music in the background, which is again, samba and jazz put together. Bye.